Sarita Chowdhury. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to meet you in person. I can't go in front of you. myself screaming like a hyena. <laughs> Does that happen to you guys a lot? All the time. Well, yeah. I mean, I think we scream all the time. We scream. Yeah, because we've been friends for 30 years. That's right. You guys know each other. Yes, and we did one movie 30 years ago. A little One movie, show. one play. One movie, one play. and then Shared a bicycle, shared a t-shirt. <laughs> I love that. So you have history, which yes. is such a beautiful thing. And we end up on, and just like that. <laughs> and I'm defined by sex in the city. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I am. That is, that is who and what and how I, in my formative years. And so I'm just on every drop of the show because I am such a fan and I love it so much and girlfriends. And then I'm meeting you where you come into this legendary legacy show and you sweep it off its feet. Do you guys feel that? Wow. Like, Nicole, are you around enough people to get the sense that you really are taking this ball, the three mm -hmm. of you, and running with it? Well, I think that it's been a big deal for them to add three characters of color, four characters of color, yeah. all different, um, and really tried their best to do, to tell those stories well. I mean, I think they've really, really, uh, done a great job. So it's been, I'm, you know, to join this iconic piece of television and then to wear these fabulous clothes and then to be part of a big change. I think it, it feels really great. Yes. I just want to echo something that Nicole just talked about, about how thoughtful the writers and producers have been um, with the show, not just um, bringing out women who we see all the time in New York City, but the nuances of how mm -hmm. these women live their lives is very specific. And I love how Lisa Todd Wexley lives in this beautiful home. Um, I think it's on the Upper East Side mm -hmm. with beautiful art and, and, and exciting fashion. But Naya Wallace is a professor at Columbia University and very clearly doesn't have a lot of money, but it's very street fashion, do you know? And of course there's Seema Patel, who is in the chocolate Mercedes, <laughs> and her family, you see her, meet her family in episode seven, right? Mm -hmm. Diwali episode six. Yeah, Diwali. mother and father six. Yes, I love that episode. Yeah, and it, it's, it's, you know, they're just very thoughtful about how they've approached all of it, um, but definitely Naya's arc. I have a real connection to. I have two children, um, but there are some days where I think to myself, "Man, this is hard. Harder than I thought it was going to be." And we put motherhood on a pedestal, yeah. um, and, and I'm not. You know, I think they they oversold that. They overpromised on the motherhood thing some days. You know, <laughs> Didn't they? I mean, so I think to myself, "This is a great. It's a great." opportunity to talk about what that looks like. I love like. that conversation <laughs> with you and Miranda in the yeah. restaurant so yeah. much. Yeah. I just so appreciate it, like the authenticity of it. And Seema, it's true, you come in and I love the scene with the picture frame. It's like that moment, I have chills everywhere where you're getting to know someone and there is a major jolt and how you recover and how you are real with people. I just thought it was so good. Thank you so much. You know, that scene, it was part of my audition scene. Mm -hmm. Really? And I had to do like four scenes for the audition. And I saw that one and I was like, that's the scene. And all the others were the harder scenes in a way, like to smoke and drink my cappuccino and wear my heels. I can't do that. <laughs> but that scene, I was like, I know that scene. Mm. Yeah. Well, how did you prepare for the role? Because you say, I've heard you say like, I'm not this, I'm not that. And I'm like, no, you are. <laughs> She really is. She really is. So the one thing I don't do is wear heels, and I'm not good at it. So when I found out I got the role, I put on all those heels that were in the back of my closet. I took them out, dusted them, put them on, and my, embarrassed my daughter because I <laughs> walked around the house in heels, brushed my teeth in heels, and I was very serious about it, which is so... Yeah. And I'm loving you. You're in white boots with like maroon yeah. eyeliner. And yeah. do you, is this taken over? Are we <laughs> no, feeling this, a bloom? No. This is for Drew Barrymore. 